Hello, everybody. Uh, today, um, I want to show you a new release board. Um, this time, we are talking about um, eight channels uh, main power relay board switch. This is the board that you can see here. Yeah, it's the new uh, MPRS uh, version uh, 3.4.1. Uh, it's a new board. We we were working uh, quite a bit on it uh, to try to um, properly integrate all the functions that we were uh, interested to to have on it. Yeah. Uh, today we will do um, just a general presentation for the board, and uh, in the next days. Uh, we will go a little bit deeper and we will talk about uh, uh, drivers and software implementation and uh, we will see also a very very uh, simple example of uh, using it okay so now for the beginning let's talk about a bit um, about uh, the ac main switching um, as you know uh, one of the, the classical way to to properly switch uh, mains lines uh, is to to use uh, relays. Uh, in our case here, we have uh, eight independent channels. You can see them directly here. Yeah, so there are eight independent channels uh, relays that are uh, uh, drived directly by an ESP8266 module. Okay, so basically what we have here, we have a very, very compact module in, uh, uh, let's say, uh, half Euro card wide format. So basically it's uh, 16 centimeters by 5 centimeters uh, that can be very, very easy uh, installed and in, uh, in an enclosure and um, you are um, good to go with your uh, mains experiments in your lab uh, will help you also to do very very easy uh, coding and very important uh, this one it's a very very safe development tool uh, as you will see later you don't need uh, to have around any um uh, let's say mains uh, wires with uh, dangerous uh, voltages that uh, might hurt you when you are working on your bench here yeah? so this board was designed with the safety in mind and uh, this is the reason that we we were doing so many spin-offs because we tried to to find out the best option to have the desired functions on the on the board and in the same time to be uh, safe so for this new version we can very easily identify three different parts uh, on the right side uh, until here if you want you can imagine here a, a, like a crossing line yeah a border yeah on the right side here we have the mains power supply yeah so basically here is the only place where we are entering with mains yeah so we have live and neutral we have the mains power supply this is an universal power supply so basically the board is working on the both standards us one for 120 and the uh, european one for 240 volts yeah uh so we have the mains power supply we have the proper fuse as you can see it's a proper ceramic fuse not the cheap glass ones uh, for the protection we have uh, on the input the, a mold yeah and on the output we have a secondary big uh, uh, capacitor for filtering yeah okay so To this border on the right we have the mains power supply after that if you want 
in the middle between this border and this imaginary border here yeah in the middle we have the switching area if you want the the main switching area where we have all the relays and also you can see here all the connections for the lines that you want to, to switch yeah of course you can switch also low power voltages you can switch your 24 volt for uh, your uh, industrial test applications you, you can switch 12 volt uh, whatever but this one will work up to mains voltage yeah so if we look a little bit closer you see here we have the contacts yeah the uh, contact the normal contact and the normal open contact yeah so basically this is an open switch and when it's uh, uh, when the relay is energized it will uh, close the contact and your voltage your energy will will flow through yeah okay so this is the the second part the uh, middle of the board between these two imaginary borders where we have the the uh, relay block yeah and after that on the left side we have if you want the the um, command and control module yeah uh, where you can see uh, we managed to uh, integrate also an esp8266 uh, ESP12 module. Uh, it has also, they are not soldered here, but it has also the full headers. Yeah, so basically, if you add here your headers, this board can be used as a full development board for uh, switching applications. I'm not saying uh, only mains, I'm saying switching applications. Yeah. So with the right firmware loaded, you have full access to all the ESP8266 pins. So you can just run it as, your, as a, a, a development board. Uh, it's safe. It's fully isolated. The power supply is fully isolated. Nothing from this border is connected or related with mains. Yeah. Uh, if we are looking on the back, just to make it a little bit easier to, to be seen, you can see here even a very, very thin dotted line. Yeah. So basically, the idea was just to show you where it's safe to touch it and where it's safe to, to play with and where it's not safe. So basically, as you can see here, danger high voltage. Yeah. So in this area, we have the power supply. And in this area, obviously, it's the relay block that might be also high voltage. Yeah. So you need to avoid. Um, regarding safety and regarding uh, also standard compliance and uh, also with the mains in mind, as you can see on the PCB, uh, all the traces are properly slotted yeah so the 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 board is uh, milled and they are properly slotted to be sure that we have the right uh, creepage distance uh, even for mains switching yeah uh, back to the the command and control module to make it uh, even easier to be used as a development board you see on the back we have write it down uh, all the pinout, yeah, so you can see TX, RX, uh, GPIO pins, uh, ground, uh, VCC, and so on. So you have all the pins very well typed here, and also the header for the next bus that will help us to uh, extend our board. Uh, the jumpers for selecting the the i square c address for the driver and also the programming header here that it's including also the pins that you need for an auto reset 
um, programming interface. Yeah. So, for example, if you are using the board with Arduino IDE and you want to use also the auto reset function, then you need to use uh, obviously a programmer that is capable of doing a thing like that, or you can use just a standard one um, with RX and TX and ground, and uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, just to, to give you a very, very quick example regarding programming, I will show you right now. This is a, this is a standard, you remember, this is a, a very, very standard um, module that you can find all over the place. Uh, this looks quite crusty, I'm using it a lot around, yeah. So in this case, as you can see, we are using only the uh, RX, TX, and ground that will come, and we will just connect them here on the on the programming header, and we can program the board. Of course, in this case, you need to connect your GPIO zero uh, to ground, yeah, and you need to use this uh, very nice, tiny but very very good reset button yeah so you have also here a proper reset button for your esp8266 module so this is one version uh as i said if you are using an environment where you need uh, auto reset or uh, you are annoyed and you don't want to press reset every time when you want to upload your firmware or your program then of course you can use a board that has uh, also the uh, reset capabilities so basically it's driving also the reset pin and the the gpio zero pin yeah this is just an example you can find them probably around this is uh, uh, one of the modules that we are using for a serial programmer is it's our own usb programmer uh, it's a little bit more than that um, it has um, auto reset capabilities and it's also fully isolated so this one uh, can be used also for uh, industrial equipments where you are under power yeah so you can see here it's fully fully isolated so um, this one uh, uh, su such a programmer like this one can save your day and it can save your computer and can save your equipment and a lot of things can be saved here. Yeah. Uh, I suggest you to try to find an isolated programmer. Uh, it will cost a little bit more, but uh, it will uh, keep you on the safe side yeah and you have also the auto reset functions so basically you don't need to press reset every time when you are uploading a new program yeah? okay so this is about uh, programming uh, it's very simple straightforward uh, i'm not insisting now about how to upload the firmware and other things like that uh, another thing that i want to show you in this general presentation of the board uh, it's related with uh, our next bus yeah so on this header here uh, you have again the next bus that you can find on uh, also on the standard uh, next evolution board yeah so this is the next bus uh, the biggest advantage of this next bus is that it's an uh, universal one because it's based on R i square c and uh, you can find already a huge amount of modules uh, very cheap on banggood or ebay that are fully compatible with our uh, next bus uh, i just have around uh, because i was working on a project i just have around such a module this one is uh, was ordered from banggood yeah um, it's a, uh, module that it's basically uh, a light sensor yeah with this sensor you you can return uh, the light level that you have the intensity of the light uh, directly in lux it's a very very nice uh, module uh, you can find uh, below more details also about this module uh, i have done uh, an entire uh, mailbag related with it and you have also driver examples for for lua uh, the connection is straightforward uh, as you can see here 
it has the VCC ground SCL and SDA that it's basically uh, the next bus yeah so VCC is down you are just connect you can just connect directly your module like this and you you can start programming and uh, you can do whatever you want with it of course it can be connected also with a longer cable maybe you want to put the sensor out of the box or things like that yeah yeah okay so uh that's it uh for today uh i just tried to to uh, make you aware about uh, this new uh exciting board uh as i said next time we will continue a little bit more with a very very simple uh, software example uh, so that's all for today thank you for watching and please give me a big thumbs up if you like my videos thank you very much